It's a mountain bike fan that contacted me. He said, Christian, you know so well how to create YouTube channels. So can you help me? I would like to create a mountain bike channel. I said, of course, of course that I'm going to help you with a great pleasure. So what I did, I brainstormed with him all the aspects of the, the channel and I created a mind map because I like to see things into mind maps and the mind map I created I directly created it in MS Word we don't need any additional tools there are just a few tips that you need to know and you'll be able to create one mind map too in MS Word in the middle we have here in the mind map the subject which is the YouTube channel. The subject of the channel will be a mountain bike and I've used here an image to illustrate this. We've discussed the audience, the material that we'll need and the budget. You see here below is really interesting. We've introduced the first schedule of this project with at which rhythm we should produce the first videos. Once you are running a project, there is always something that is important. They are performances. How well are we doing with that channel? And it's what I'm illustrating here with some views from the YouTube Studios analytics. If now I come here, for example, and I would like to know a bit more about the studio light, I can do a control click on the image and I'm directly pulled down into the documents where there are uh, some text about the thoughts we had on that topic. If now I want to go back to the mind map, I simply do a control click on the icon here and I'm back into the mind map. The first thing I want to do is to change the layout of the page. And for that, I go into orientation, you see, and I'm choosing landscape. The trick is that with Word, anywhere where you double click, you can start and key in something. So I have my first thing here and I will format it. I will now add some other elements. The first thing I want to change is the background color. For this, I go into design and here you can define the page color. I'm going to take a blue that suits me. I'm now going to insert lines between the topics and for this, I come and select here a line. And here, for example, I'm pulling a line towards the subject. Once I've done that, I come in the middle and I select by right clicking the type of the line and I can change the style. I want also to change the width or the weight of this line by taking one and a half. I want now to link all the other topics and instead of repeating that set of operation, I can come here in the middle, right click, and you see I can default this line as being the default line. So now whenever I'm coming and selecting another line, you see here how easy it is to reproduce this and directly have the right type of lines. I will now complete for the other ones. After downloading images, we are going to place them on the diagram. I'm going to add some more of the text.
I'm going to add some of the missing links. We are now going to look at the scheduling. First starting with the channel creation. First video and then a step with five additional videos and a monthly review. A mind map is something visual, so we are going to extend now the schedule with an arrow that I pick here. Now we can start to insert dates. I want now to add the text, the description text, and for this I'm going to add here a section break and I'm choosing the section break on the next page. I go now on the next page here and I select the orientation here as portrait. And we see that we have our first page with the mind map and the second one here is in the portrait format. I'm now going to insert the text. I did a copy paste and now I'm pasting it. Like that, we have the text and the map is on top of it. In the text, uh, different subjects, they have uh, different levels. So I'm going now to link the images to the different part of the text. For this, I right-click here on an image and I'm going to choose a link. Insert a link and here I will go into places into this document. And here I'm selecting the subject for the first image. I'm going to say OK. I do the second one here, exactly the, the same on the link, and it will be audience. Now if I click here up with control click on the link, you see I'm directly down into the text. To go back from the text to the mind map, I first need an icon. For that, I'm selecting icon. And I know that there are some that resemble a brain. So I've seen it here. So why not this to insert it? And of course, it's a bit too big. So we have to reduce the, the size. So now we need to establish the link to the mind map. For this, I'm coming up here in the mind map, here, and I'm going into insert, and I'm selecting here bookmark. And I'm naming the bookmark mind map. It's simple, and I'm adding it. And now I can go down to my text, select my image, and here again, insert a link. And down here, you will find the, the bookmarks and I can select mind map. So now we need to check this whether it works or not. So control click and we are up into our mind map. I can now copy this and paste it everywhere. All what is left to me is to insert a link here on the lights here. This is a link to a second level header. And we find here under material light. And I'm saying, OK, let's test it. 
and we are now exactly on the light. Mind mapping is something really useful. You can now use it simply directly into Word. It will help to make your documents more interactive. And for me, it's always a pleasure to share those knowledges with you. I hope to see you soon for another module. Bye-bye.